All right, let us continue. Welcome back to White Falcon Plays. This is floor two of three with the Tempest on hard difficulty. All right, so we kind of mapped out a, a route, which is great because that makes it easier for me. Let us head on. Shock 10, block 10. Each turn that is even overcharged. Oh, another one of those. Be too bad, but um, I think we'll go down this way. Oh, look at all the stuff we got here. Didn't know you could have four people. The unholy court in the light. Prayer is uttered to the divine. Here, there is no such concept. The spiritual know of nothing else but their twisted master, their unholy king. Let's go at the end. Well, round of fight with some healing and the ability to inflict fear. Don't know what fear does, do we? I'm not sure. All right. Oh no, three. Interesting. All right, what's this? Deal 12 damage, discharge three, draw opener, draw two. Opener, trigger plus one. It'd be very hard to have this on the opener with discharge three. All right. Um, I guess it'll just do 24 damage though if we use it straight away. Plus one and range 25. All right, what have we got? The old king, 80%. When defeated, five banes are added to your deck. Okay. 60% and 30%. Chosen champion. Number of times equal to its frenzy. All right. Um, maybe we'll just hit this guy for a bunch. Seems decent. Let's then use rigged. This, uh, what is it? Grounded. Then we don't need that. Um, but we could hit this guy for what? Nine? Thought would have damage ing increased. I guess that already is. Alright, fair enough. Actually, we could have taken them out, which would have been good, but that's all right. Mana's good too. August is good. We've got 13 block incoming next turn. So we go down to one. That is good. Okay. Pity it wasn't zero, but what can you do? All right. Um... Draw one, overcharge two. Not too bad. Got a ten, uh, three zeal. Overcharge. We can use this twice. Trigger void stone. Oh yeah, so we'll draw and discard a card. Um, should we lose a health here? I don't think it's the greatest idea. All right, let's uh block to make sure we have that. Stuff done. Oh, that would have blocked four. I think we take out this guy. This would be really good. Maybe we do do this. We'll survive. Right, only three block this time. Horrific visions. Apply fear. After drawing discard cards equal to your fear. Okay. Alright, let's uh, apply 8 shock, vulnerable, delay. Let's get rid of that one then. Deal 11 damage to all enemies. This seems pretty good. We could buff it up heaps. Smash out two people. That seemed amazing. Uh, and then just hit him for 4. Team. Perfect victory. Potion of stealth. Creatures will skip their first turn. Wow. Okay. Shock 10, block 10, but cost 3. It's quite costly. Uh, did we not get an upgrade thing then? No, I guess not. Well, we're working on this one now. That could be interesting. So we could go down here, but that blocks off something else, doesn't it? I don't know. Let's just go down and have a look. 
Oh, we've got three two souls upgrade point. Awesome. That's another one of those things. Deal six damage plus four for each attack played this turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not bad. Discharge one, gain one energy. Kind of a free attackish. All right, we'll grab this. Something a bit different. All right, we could do all sorts, couldn't we? Um, maybe only adds shock two. Delay rage fifty percent. It's not bad. We took it out of it. Wait, that's our backpack. No, this is our backpack. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. So much stuff. When did I get these? Um, deal 8 damage plus 6 for each attack played this turn. There is better ways of doing that, like our other character, like our other assassin character. He plays so many cards that are attacking that would smack the crap out of people, but... Uh, what am I using all the time? I'm using this all the time. And I'm using... This was good. Alright, let's upgrade that. We can put a card into that later as well. Uh, uh, what have they called? A void stone. Let's go to an empty square. If we go there, that is gone. Can we then go up here? Probably not. I don't know if we can go up there afterwards either. Another potion. Alright, we'll go with this one. We don't want to lose everything else. Okay. Band of Raiders. Waning remnants of a long-devoured god of war and thunder. Once the proud warriors delve deep, seeking to reclaim these forgotten ruins runic sites like us but twisted madness soon shaped them into parodies of their once righteous selves mm. these creatures will get stronger for every zero cost card you play and have the ability to gain high amounts of fortitude fair enough fair enough block six recurring one random block card recurring what's that recur return a chosen card from your discard pile okay Plus two weak channel ancestors. Plus one AP. Okay, this seems that seems like a good start. And this seems like a good start. We don't need the block. We could use the overcharge. Um, we kind of need to kill this first, I think. This enemy will double all fortitude gained. Okay, um, we could either hit this for 12, 14. We don't need the block though. Let's get energy back from that one. Let's even get energy on this one and we'll go for it next turn. Alright, 9 damage. Okay, all sorts of stuff's going on. Uh, ability. For each ability. We don't actually have many abilities. This is ability, though. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Alright, this will be good. And then we can hit everyone for a decent amount of damage. We could increase that by 25%, I guess. We don't need block. We can hit this guy. Do we need to kill that guy first? Doesn't he get angry or something? No. All good, I think. Okay. Let's hit everyone for a decent amount. And then 27. 26. Hmm. Pity it doesn't kill them. So close. Okay. See what happens now. I only get four block this turn. Let's 
So that damage stuff will be removed, fortitude first. Okay, so it's just like block. Okay, um, why are these things purple? Hex, the next card you play will be sent to your discard and won't be played. Cleared at the end of your turn. Interesting. So we'll use this and then we can block need be. Let's overcharge. Actual block by five because that's good. Now we can take this guy out. Um, 18. Does that get spent at the end of turn? Remove the start of the next turn. Okay, cool. Let's go for 100 rage though. It's decent. We'll use it. Attack at the 12. Okay. Rune Priest is back, or well, another uh, Rune Priest is there. Deal 15 damage, discharge 3, draw 2, opening trigger 1. This is good. We could do a smash and hit to start with. Uh, we can now Vulnerable Everyone. Uh, that's not going to be able to be played very easily at all. I don't think we can kill everyone, so I think we need to play one of these. Choose one to discard. It'd be great to play it, but I don't think we're going to have enough energy to play it. Unless we can... Rebound it. Can we discard rebound it? I think we can. We could just now discard this. And then use this and kill one of them. Okay, that works. Oh, this would be better. Look at that. Damn, man. Okay, perfect fight again. We're doing well, we're doing well. Okay, so we can get up here. Interesting. Well, let's do it. We've got a green thing there. We want to see what that does. Non-class card. You can exchange a non-class card for a random class card with a void stone. I don't even know if we have that. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look. The malformed. Fiends woven from the substance of the abyss and threaded with the utter alien intent. They silently drag their victim into victims into a crack between life and death. Sounds pretty disgusting. All right. A strong group of enemies who can inflict high amounts of spike damage. Certain enemies can gain high amounts of fortitude. This enemy never gains frenzy. Okay. Before attacking, this enemy will gain 10 fortitude. Flesh Beasts. Ooh. Apply 9 shock if this card doesn't cost 2, overcharge 2. Oh. Interesting. All right, you flesh fiends. Let's take you out. Use that one first. We don't really need block. Overcharge could be helpful. Um, we don't need block at all, so we'll do this. They got a lot of health. These things are sparking. Um, all right, we've got 50%, 80%. Any of them would be fine. Um... Maybe we'll take out the Rotting Gut Fiend. Jeez. What's his thing? He's only doing one threat. It's not much. Uh, what was my little thing? At the start of battle? No, no. Um, all it means and delay block 10. What was the other thing that I get? Delay block. Here we go. At the end of your turn, delay block equal to half your zeal. Oh, okay. Well, that's not much. All right. Um, let's start on this guy, I think. Yeah. If we get this guy, nothing spawns back. Oh, they're not they're not pretty. Or we could just go for a lot of mana. Okay, that gives me overcharged. So let's leave it there. And go for a, a full round next turn. Oof. 
All right, so this is this is all right. Discharge done. Nearly, nearly on point. Okay, um, but it'll do double damage to someone. Twenty-seven. Are we taking that guy on? We've hit him last time. Okay, we're going for him. This one's gonna be good if we had the. Uh, Points for it though. Twenty-one damage. That's not bad, is it? All right, and we gain. Oh, we gain block because of that. I got to look at the extra block on cards because we could have uh, got extra one mana from uh, one of those cards before. Crippled. At the start of your turn, draw X less cards. Ow. It's harsh. Alright, here's a block four, so that's perfect. I don't think we'll play this unless we get something amazing here, but like nothing's gonna be that amazing. No. Alright. Um so I think we do this next turn. Again, we could get masses of mana. So let's do that. I'm not even looking at what they're gonna do. Self-destruct! Add five banes and two dazes. Oh my goodness. Twenty-seven. I could kill that. Alright, change of plans, dudes. I'm gonna get him out of the way because that's harsh. Always look at what your opponent is about to hit you with, eh? Alright, what do we got now? Um we got four. We should be able to get another one. Can we kill that middle guy? We've got a lot of armor to get back, which we can't. Again, it's so expensive, this card, but we should be able to start ramping up. Overcharge. Um, We should be able to kill that guy, so we'll do this. We'll do this for 63 damage. Things cost one less, but we lose an overcharge, which doesn't help with this. That's okay. Uh, this guy's still... That's a pretty amazing. We're on 175, which is pretty great as well. We're starting to run out of mana, though. 17. 36. As soon as we use something, the cost will go up. All right, I'm going to have to get rid of this. I think we use this again. And I think that'll kill him. We just need one more mana. Nice. Nice. Further. We'll take further. Shock eight. And we've already got one of them. Okay. What else can we do here? So, we're getting an overcharge, which I think is quite important. Um, channel power. Discharge, one. Lower your spell's remaining cooldown by one. Okay, okay. Uh, block six. Or uh, rage 25%, dealing three damage to all enemies. What do we got at the moment? Delay rage, discharge one, apply shock to all enemies. I don't want to keep discharging. I want to use discharge on other things. So maybe we could get this one. Uh, this one. Um, delay rage 50. It's not bad. Delay block 8. Adds two random upgraded volatile com common cards to hand. Next card played will cost one less. It's interesting. Draw one, discharge one, gain one energy. My goodness, there's all sorts. I, it's very hard to get to zeal 10 at the moment with my build. Gain one energy. That's pretty good as well. Alright, let's go with... Let's go with this one down here. Alright. Well, we can get that already. Didn't know we had two. Alright, that'll be interesting when we get to seven. I've reached it 12% of the time. That's cool. How uh, It says how many times I've reached them. Very cool. 
All right, did we get anything? We did get a spell. We don't really want to use it. We didn't get any of these. Okay. So we're going to go up here, across here, up here. Something like that. Let's have a look what these are about. Here you may choose a non-class card from your deck or backpack and transform it into a random class card with an added void stone. So if we do this one, there's a 5% chance, chance for a rare. That's cool. Um... So that adds a little bit more because we've got a thing in it. Well, let's do this one. It's a pretty cool card, though. Deal 6 damage plus 4 for each attack play this turn. Let's do this one. Oh, got it. Un I thought it had to... could Uncommon chance 40%. Oh, okay. So this was a common. Deal 22 damage. Discharge 1. Zeal 1. Not the best socket to have in it. We can roll again. Uh, that's even worse. Oh, look, the rare chance goes up. We're getting very unlucky then. Block 14, discharge 3. Block 14, no. We're going to go one more. Oh, there we go. What is this one? Each time you pay three or more energy for a card, your next card played will cost one less. Oh. Alright, we'll take that. I don't really think that helps us right now. Can't can we change our deck now? We've got a lot of these things. Cost five? Ooh. I don't even think we can play that yet. I think we need a couple more cards that are going to give us five mana. All right. Um, chance to visit the queen. We just spent all that stuff. Ooh, this is cool. Queen stands before you. The faint glow of obsidian chess pieces slowly dancing before her illuminate something that could be a smile. Each piece is... Its own abyss, dark as the void. Contained within are prismatic stones, each promising potent power to anyone who has the will to bear them. Should we get... Well, this is the queen. Are we going to spend 17 souls to get the queen? Queen plus one. What? Trigger your zeal three and seven powers inert. What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So these are gems that go into cards. So when I play this card, it triggers level 3 and 7 powers. And it can only trigger one. This card's void stone only triggers once per turn. Which will probably be the same as this. No. So this makes a card work twice. Imagine putting that on the 5 cost buff card. Oh, wow. Plus 1, clone, overcharge 1. Copy this card. A copy of this card will be added to your discard. Rebound. Ghost twice, inert, expel. Um, so, a ghost out of all of this hand. Cards voice so it only triggers once per turn. Oh, I can I can feel potentials here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna get I'm gonna spend I don't know really what all this stuff does, but I'm gonna get these two to play around. Alright, let us jump into here. I'm thinking we put We put um this one on this maybe i guess it only overcharges us by one but we'd have to get a really cheap spell for it to uh, duplicate we could do this one is that upgraded yes or we could do no we can't because that's already socketed Let's do this one with Ghost twice. 
Uh, and then we've got trigger plus one. So that's that would be put onto a really high costing spell. Like this. Because you would shock them 16. Alright, let, uh, let's do the ghost on sw swerving current. Hover and currents, if I can say the word. I think that's good. Or you could put it, because we could put the uh, double play into this one. Alright. We'll socket that one. Each time you play three or more energy for a card, your next card played will cost one. So it would cost two less. But we'd play a three card each time which would be pretty cool we'd have to change our deck around a bit as we go it's tempting isn't it or else um what else we got or else we got this one plus shock 16 we got this one draw one draw two cards overcharge four that's pretty decent help us in the short run I do quite like that. Per stack reduced by one each turn. I still think like how much how many times do we have five energy? I guess we do sometimes, but it's a waste. It's, well, it's not a waste, but it takes a whole turn. It is epic though. I love you know how I like see shinies, which is this, and I just think must be worth it. All right, let me do one one more battle, and I'll see how many times I get five mana. Okay, so what is this? Search for artifacts. Crates contain discard items laid before you. Available purchase. You may pick one from each crate. What, for free? For free? What the heck? If you start your turn with seven or more energy, apply vulnerable to all enemies. Every seventh card will played will cost one less energy. This is kind of cool with the energy decrease. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, don't I have something out? Oh, oh, wait there. Wait there, wait there. Why is it suddenly saying bye? Um. Ah, I see. So I have to buy them. That's fair enough. I should save up for that because the, getting an extra artifact is heaps big. All right. I don't like this could be good in my cost three area, but we're going to leave it. All right. It's good to know what that does. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good as we wanted it to be. Um... Let's go this way. Random common artifact. Untrustworthy coin purse. <laughs> I don't think we want to spend all of our stuff, do we? Random rear. What's on sale? Overcharge one. Oh, that'd be pretty decent. I don't know what souls do yet. I guess... Alright, I'm going to grab that, and then we have no souls left. We're soulless. And let's put that on this one. Don't play Paragon. Alright, let's put it on this one. Alright. <laughs> the Forgotten. Ooh. Ooh. Existing somewhere between the light and darkness, these poor souls lingered in a forgotten existence, a limbo of nothingness that is constant aching unrest. A strong group of enemies where kill order is very important. Well, I'm going to stuff that up, aren't I? Deal five damage and block four times X times. Hmm. Not bad for my rage build here. All right. Um... At the start of 
its turn if your threat is not at zero this enemy will gain plus one ap whenever a bane is drawn this enemy gains plus two ap and then this guy's just a goat <laughs> i think we do the game first maybe maybe they're all quite low we're gonna get lots of them all right we're doing grounded as normal We can apply Shock 8 if we get rid of something. Delay Rage, that's good. And apply Vulnerable, that's good. Quite like that idea. Um, let's do that to someone. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Pity they're going to do just too, too much. Just too much. Actually, decent amount. Three extras. Alright, so this is going to come back into our hand. This is going to be interesting. Now, does anything have block in my hand? Yes, but not what I was talking about. Alright, we're going to get rid of that. We are going to apply some block. And then we're going to gain some... You sneaky. Sneaky. Pity this isn't off cooldown. Look at this. Oh, really pity that this isn't off cooldown. Because we could have killed him. Oh. Oh. Apply Vulnerable 4 to all enemies. Deal 12 damage, block 7. God, if we kill all of them at once, that will um, instantly make us win. Which would be pretty amazing. Alright, come out of stealth, mate. We need you to get hit. Choose a card to discard. Um, maybe this. They're already vulnerable. The shock is good, isn't it? An enemy shock will be added to an attack. No, that's all right. I think we get rid of that. Um, overcharge. Three, draw one. 18. So we could kill these two. But I don't think we're going to have enough mana. Hmm. I think we're going to take some hit here. Can't get 10 off. We don't have enough. Actually, I could have. Maybe. Don't think that would actually do it, would it? That would be 22. It probably could have. It's already 21. And that would boost it up heaps. But we don't have the mana now. I think we just do that, unfortunately. It's only at 72. We're going to get two new goats. That's really horrible. Oh, no, we're not. Apparently. Why did he die? <laughs> All right. Um, further. Let me get that cool card. All right. What else do we have? We've got this zero, so we're not doing that. Um... I think we do this. I think I'm pretty happy with what we got there going now. All right. So we could do this and carry on through there. Extra enemy. What are we getting for extra enemies? More gold getting hurt a bit more maybe. We've got this one. This card triggers once more per turn. That'd have to be a cheap card as well. It'd be good on that. Like, this isn't as good as I want it to be. Let's put it on that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, because this, again. I'm like, I'm thinking the buff cards are great, but it already is what we want it to be. 
All right. All right, let us continue. I forgot how many times I got to five energy. How many three level? We got one. We've only got one card that's doing three damage. Hmm. Hmm. We could do it to this one. I don't know how that would work. If we did this, trigger plus one. Would that just be insane? Do we waste a card on that to find out? Or would it just do X is zero? Let's put it on and find out, shall we? Oh, goodness. I think we get rid of this one. We put another one of these back in. What have I done? Shifting winds. Gain one energy every every even turn. Plus one max energy. Expel. That's cool. Alright, the council. Have we got these killed these guys before? I can't remember. Sitting behind the veil of shadows, they survey all with a dispassionate gaze. Their intent is as clear as the gloom as they pull strings in the name of the void. These creatures will become stronger as you draw out affliction cards, which they can give you themselves. They can also be quite vengeful if you kill one and don't follow up on it. Hmm. Don't be so vengeful. They're all the same. Whenever a bane is drawn, this enemy gains 2 AP. Ouch. Alright, we got a buff. We don't need that. This probably won't get much. Um, so we don't need that. We could do a decent amount of damage here. Apply poison. So poisonous. Um... We can't do that, so we'll play it. I want to kill all of them at the same time. Is that what they're saying? Why do they all suddenly shudder then? Oh, because of this. Makes sense. There's a lot of things going on. Alright, so this block is good. Wow, the poison. Did that take a lot more life off me than I thought it would have? Alright, this is a good one. Ah, uh, pity we haven't got Discharge 3 again. So difficult. Do 12 damage. Open trigger twice. So if we do that to the middle one. We're not going to be able to do this as many times as we want. Maybe we are. Let's, let's go through all this. Is anything gaining block? Hmm... 27. Alright, let's do this first. And then... Oh, we should have done this. 100%. Oh, there's a lot to take in. Alright, something like that. They're all close to death. They're all going to do a lot of stuff to me. Hopefully that doesn't matter. This poison's horrible. Because that takes away actual life, doesn't it? Not sure. Alright. Um, interesting, interesting. It's going to be a bit interesting. <laughs> Fifteen. We have to do that one first. And then it's a little bit more. 18, just not enough. Are you serious? We'll do 31. And it would do the block, which is the big thing. And it would make the 100%, which is the good thing as well. 
This is good. Alright, that seemed to go okay. No vengeance because 100%. Enraged mourning. Okay. Too late. Too late, lady, I think. Um, we do need a little bit more damage, though. Oh. I spoke too soon. Um. We got eight now? That's crazy. Um. It only gives us zeal if we purge, but this gives us zeal too. Mm, not the best. We could have done better, but we could have taken zero damage there, I think. All right, let's, so this is crazy. It's 71 damage. We've got 15 max energy we could have. Okay. All right. Can upgrade. Can we upgrade that thing? Oh, my goodness. It's like a boss killing thing. All right. What are we doing? All right. The taxidermist. With needle and thread, no corpse is left wasted. When they can be so easily woven into such beautiful sculptures that can be admired for all darkness. Will attack with high frenzy affected by the number of cards in your hand. If the fight pride prolongs, Banes will become an issue. All right, kill them quickly. Well, we've got a card that does that. Um, all right, what have we got here? Grounded. I think we do this to gain a decent amount of overcharge. And then we... I could draw two cards by playing that, which is worth it. Uh, what? What is he doing? Each time an unholy creature is killed, this enemy increases frenzy. One plus the number of cards in your hand. Also, when the text minus is killed, it will increase its fury by one. This seems very dangerous. Or well, both of them do. Am I doing lots to them? Uh, wait there. Also, when the tax minus is killed, it will increase its frenzy by one. Alright, we're going for it, though. Oh, look at all these. So what's this? The next two cards are cheaper or something? I can't remember. Right, the next card costs minus one energy. Okay. Apply eight shock when played. Discharge two. Trigger plus one times. Can't do that. Block 20. Overcharge two. Hmm. We're buffing these guys. They're getting they're smashing the crap out of us. My goodness. Wow, we're in big trouble here. <laughs> oh, they went down. Oh, because of how many cards we have. Okay. Okay. Enough is enough. I don't think we need this. To oh, we can't get rid of it. Okay. Oh, okay. That's all right. Eight. Further. So, 14. That's good. Yeah, you can heal them because they're not even hurt. Okay, so I see how Bane cards are bad because these guys will smack the crap out of you. 63. We can increase that by masses. 115. Oh, 
141. 160. Block 8, overcharge 1. Recur the top card, overcharge 1. By, by like. Return a chosen card from your discard pile to your hand. Oh. <laughs> 56. We can't get rid of this card, unfortunately. Wow. 10! We got to 10. Oh, yeah. Overcharged by 3. Alright, this deck's getting pretty good, I think. Oh, except all that stuff. All right, um, I think this will be quite good. Because then we can do this. For a decent amount of damage here. Um, we can get rid of this, can't we? Yes! Perfect! Exploding bottle. Upgrade a card. We should do this one, shouldn't we? Rebound. Ooh, that's pretty good. I do like this as well, and this. Backpack. All right, let's do this one. Quick charge. Um, can we get up here if we do that? If we go up here, we can do that. We don't have any shrines, but you get a truckload of uh, essences. We'll go up there. Oh, a boss with three cards to his face. Okay, our chaos. A chaos beast of the elements, the avatar of their power, strides forward as yet another champion lost to the void's inexorable corruption. Inexorable corruption. Around the neck glow pendants of earth, fire, wind, and water. Their once natural balance hung, hangs tortured in the thrall of their captor. It's kind of like a Thor. Alright. An unstoppable warrior removing Akron's arms will cause him to use what's left even more aggressively, but lose some finesse in the process. Look, all of them 100%. That's cool. We know what card we need. Alright. This, this is not working in my deck. Mm -hmm. We could use it actually though. Alright, let's use it for once. Do, 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 do. Curse of Chaos. Apply Fumble 2. I didn't read Fumble. I was about to. Something happened. Oh, it makes stuff in my hand volatile. Um, destroyed after being played. Discarded or at the end of turn. Does that mean it's destroyed completely? Not sure. Um, decently, a decent time to do this, I think. I think we can do this. Oh, we can't get rid of this. It's a problem, isn't it? Um, we definitely want to start using this.
Oh, so close. Actually, I could have saved the other one or something, couldn't I? I'm not sure. That's pretty good, though, I think. Overcharged by nine. So we get an extra, like, one energy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Five. Okay. So we could kill these two things, which I think is definitely worth it. Oh, there's an... Oh, because I got armor. My bad. All right, we're going to take both of them out anyway. Oh, look at all the damage he's done to me. Oh. <laughs> okay, makes sense. When he's got no arms, he can't do anything. Uh, the rope around the giant's neck has snapped. The beast is the beads it held spill to the dust before you. You reach down to pick one up from the debris. I would just like scoop them all up. Delay block one each time a blue void stone is triggered. Delay. Okay, all the same. Can we? We can look at the. Whoop. We've got a blue which we're not using. Wait, this is my backpack. Yellow, yellow, red, green, red. Two reds, two yellows. What are these? Whites? <laughs> Colorless? Alright, we'll go yellow or red. Let's go red. We could go overcharge. Because it rebounds. Let's go purple actually okay and walk away <laughs> uh victory okay let's go up here 500 essence and three souls we need to collect our souls back again all right mob room now how many potions do we have of healing Zero. Oh, I thought I had one. Oh, yeah, let's do this, shall we? We don't... It's hard to do only 20 cards. Okay. Um... All right. Let's go. How hard could it possibly be? Fire bugs. Fire brings light, and light is not welcome here. Denying it, these screeching insects capture the flame and lock it away in their smoldering hives. Inflicts high amount of burn, and their strength is determined by your level of burning. Ooh. Kill them quick like. All right. Oh, jeez. Deal 12 damage. Just charge 3. Draw. Trigger twice. Rage 50. Um, All right, pretty good start, but I got no energy. No energy. Oof, what is the burn thing? The enemy's frenzy is equal to one plus your burn value. Wow. All right, let's get rid of this. Like this is going to be 56 at the moment. Hundred and thirty. Hundred and fifty six. Let's get rid of this guy. Block eleven. Next card playable cost one more. Gain one energy every even to oh yeah, cool. Um Okay. 
That guy's not coming back. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, we got this again. All right, need to block some. We're gonna get hit anyway. Why is this flashing so much? Minus one frenzy. Every time you purge a card, is it? I'm not sure. Purging cards reduces burning by one. Ah. Just to calm down, you guys. 24 damage. Woo. Big round for them. Big round for them. Alright, let's hope we can take them both out. Eight energy. We should be able to. Twenty-three. Twenty-seven. There's eighteen. Thirty-four. Right, this does more at the moment already. Forty-one. Yeah, we're fine, aren't we? We are completely... Look at that. We can just go crazy. Take all that damage back, guys. Okay. Deal 20 damage. Slay. Draw 2. Oh. Interesting. Oh, that's not that bad. Ooh, flying around everywhere. We now haven't used this, unfortunately. But, oh, you take its down cost down by 1. Makes more sense. All right. Um, it becomes rigged if we do that. Game one energy return maximum. Not bad. And then we could put some stone on it to do extra stuff. I think we get rid of this. I think we swap that out for something else. And we've got more fervor. Can we do anything else with fervor? Not really. Um... What is it doing at the moment? Overcharge 3. Deal damage equal to current energy plus your maximum energy to a random enemy. Hmm. Play 1 slow to all enemies. Block 3. Hmm. Alright, we'll do that. Alright, let's have a look at what we've got here. So this would be quite good. Um, but we've got so many cards. We're definitely doing some potions, but I want to get rid of that three card because I'm just not playing it. I'm just not playing it. Um, what would we play? What would we play? Overcharge block and delay block equal to this card's cost. Purge your next one energy and your gain one energy and your next card costs plus one. Yeah, if we had lots of those cards, be right, but we don't. Um, nothing that's jumping out at me. If this card doesn't cost two, overcharge two. Okay. Nothing is leaping out at me. Maybe the sleigh card. 20 damage is decent for two. All right, let's put that card in, I guess. You want to trigger that twice and stuff like that. That'd be a great card to do some cool stuff with. Which we might be able to do in floor three. Oh, oh, oh. Potions. Let us make them skip their first turn. How many potions can I use? And... We'll do that. We'll keep that one for another thing. What does it say? Equal to your current floor. Okay. The birth pit. Oh my goodness. These fetid abominations gurgle pus, infuse the blood 
from a vague mouth hole. Um, do I want to even read this? As globules of rancid flesh shake free, their stench alone will defeat most. Oh, the boss gets temporarily buffed when targeted by attacks. So knowing when to back off and focus on her gradually growing minions is key. What's going on? Oh, potions. All right, so they, they don't do anything the first turn. Increases by one each time you draw a card. At 10, the enemy gets plus one AP. Okay. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. And we're doing that and that. And then we're doing that and that and that. Quite like that. We got four. We got a flashing metal again. Loves to do that. We haven't got masses of mana, but not too bad either. We could kill one, draw two cards, potentially. Yeah, it's ready. It's sparkling. 59. Draw two cards for one card. That sounds pretty good. Um, yeah, we've got this. We've got this in the bag. Oh, pity it's not the first one. We do draw two cards when playing it, though. Um, well, 38. 38. What are we, what are we doing here? We're not getting that. We probably don't need three of these. Let's do this as well. Here we go. Deal 16 damage. Wait, what is, what is this? 93 at the moment. God, we could buff that up. It's the Wawuzu. The Wawuzus? Yeah, the Wawuzus. Uh, apply Shock 8 when played. Discharge 2. Trigger plus 1 times. It's pretty decent, isn't it? It's got 18 shot. What does that do? Oh, uh, 183. If he's dead, everyone dies. I think. Um. All right, let's get rid of this. Two hundred and twenty-eight. Does a hundred and eight by itself? We gain plus twenty-five range if we use this, but it seems dangerous. We don't need that one at the moment. Let's get rid of this as well. I think. Two hundred and seventy. Three hundred and twelve. All right, this is just going to work, isn't it? We don't have to worry too much about what we're doing here. I don't think. Three hundred and fifty-four. Just like that. Retaliate. Perfect fight. Five souls. It's too much thinking. You stare deep. Oh, this is the same as before. Yeah, okay. So we choose one promise. Gain it 25 max HP. Receive a booster pack with a guaranteed rare. Obtain this uncommon artifact. Each time you gain tempo. What's tempo? Your next... Okay, bracket. Your next card costs X more or less more. Rage 25 and delay rage 25. Tempo. More or less. We've got a couple of those, don't we? Yeah, we'll give that a go. Uh, game 1, Vault Guardian Blessing. I don't even know what that means. Oh, this thing? The Void will start with 20% less... 20% damage taken. 12th time... Okay. The 12th time you draw an Affliction or suffer a debuff in a battle, draw 3 extra cards next turn. Oh, that's pretty damn good. Draw Draft 1 rare from a pool of 3. Do we get this one or that one? The void will start with 20% less damage. 20% damage taken. That sounds great because doesn't this hit the void or something? I don't even know what this void is. But it sounds like it's going to be nearly impossible. We'll do this and we will continue on. 
we hope we get to the void. Oh, straight away. The void. What is all this? You can unleash your remaining souls to inflict damage to the void. Welcome to the vault. To fight the void, you must first beat two of his vault guardians, each of which will grant you a unique blessing. Four stand before you. The choice is yours. All right, guys, we've got to the next area here. This is pretty exciting. We can release our souls. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll explore this when we get back in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. I'm very, definitely enjoying this game. Uh, until next time, White Falcon, out.